I just wanted to make this video about the uh, Cura Ultimaker program for the Anycubic Mega S. Um, it got really frustrating to me, so I just figured I finally got things right and it's actually printing stuff correctly. So I can go ahead and show you guys the settings. These were um, the first thing I did was just put some, uh, just a general setting for my Overture PLA. It's pretty, it's only like twenty dollars a kilogram. So that's just real basic though. Um, right here, these are the ones I wanted to show you. So what works really well for me. So layer height, um, 0 0.2 millimeters. Wall thickness, 2 millimeters. Wall line count, 5. Top bottom thickness was standard, just 1.3. Um, top layers, 7 layers on the top and the bottom. Bottom thickness, also 1.3 millimeters. Um, infill density, since I'm still kind of just playing around with it, I left it at 25%, but I would put it at 50% probably if I wanted it stronger, 50 to 70 actually. Um, and I like the grid pattern. Here's the most important thing, so printing temperature. Do between 190 and 200. Don't go above that. Um, at first I was using Build B, a different program, not Cure at all. and the PLA I'm using recommended 220 degrees and that didn't work at all it was just stringy all over the place it wasn't sticking right it was just everything was just messed up and it was just it was driving me nuts and the prints I got just were not worth anything they just crap um, build plate temp at 60 degrees works well print speed 50 millimeters per second um, enable retraction Z hop when retracted enable print cooling and I just got the fan speed at 70 percent but I don't know if that matters too much um, you can put support if you want to but I don't need you don't need to with a part like this I mean there's no real need for any kind of support nothing's overhanging and then bill plate adhesion type I just like the little or my mouse point ago I just like the little skirt that it draws around it and it just uh, I don't know if it really helps or not, but it helps get some of the PLA out of the extruder so it clears it up a little before you actually start. And then what's pretty cool about this program too is when you hit slice, so it's going to tell me it's going to take one hour and five minutes, use six grams of PLA and it costs 14 cents. Um, that's not actually pounds, I put it in as, it's like $20 a roll for this for one kilogram. So and right here it breaks it down for you but hopefully you guys can find this useful I know if I would have probably found this in the settings and stuff and put them in right I wouldn't have been so frustrated the whole time because I've been really worked up <laughs> trying to get this thing to work right but I finally got it so alright guys um, I'll see you around